Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to use your TI Inspire Cast to find the derivative and second derivative. It can actually go higher than the second derivative of an implicitly defined function. Um, so it's pretty basic. Uh, if you go to menu and then go to calculus, and then I usually press the up arrow actually, and go to implicit differentiation. So here we have this. It's, it's simplified, uh, shortened to impdiff, which is kind of fun to say. Um, you have to give it an equation. So if I give it x squared plus y squared equals 8, let's say. Um, and then what you have to do is you have to go comma, I'm going to put the independent variable, which is x, comma, the dependent variable, which is y. So you do have to put both of those. And then if I press enter, it's going to find the first derivative. So it's going to find dy dx. So dy dx is negative x over y. But there's actually an optional argument here. Um, it defaults to the first derivative, but if you do comma 2, it will actually find the second derivative. But what it does is it finds it, it's, it's almost never simplified. Um, so what I can do here, or what you can do, we can get a common denominator. So I'm going to actually have the calculator do that. So I'm press menu, go to algebra. Um, if you press up, you can go to fraction tools. And option four is common denominator. So I'll choose that. Um, and I want to do the common denominator of the answer. So there's a lot of ways to get that. You can put a box around it and paste it down. That'll work. Um, you can do control and then the negative sign for the previous answer, which is probably the fastest way if you're using a handheld. Um, so common denominator. So I see that. There's kind of a weird property of um, most of the conic sections, I think this always happens, where I have negative x squared minus y squared. If you go back up to the original statement, it was x squared plus y squared is equal to 8. So you could actually simplify uh, this by hand to um, negative 8 over y cubed. But, uh, so that's how it works. I mean, I'll do another one for you just so you can see it happen again. So it's menu, go to calculus. I usually press up for implicit differentiation to E. Um, you have to type in your equation. So um, multiplication is not optional here. So if I want to do uh, y squared plus x times y, I need to put the multiplication. And then let's say plus x cubed. And then we'll say it equals 1. And then comma the independent variable, which is x, comma the dependent variable, which is y. If I don't put a number there, it's going to find the first derivative, which is that. If I go back up and I put comma 2, it'll find the second derivative, which is out of hand. Um, if I go back up and do comma, I don't know, 10, let's see what it does. It takes a while, but it actually gets it. Uh, you would almost certainly never get that by hand. It's going to take me forever just to scroll through it, so I'm not actually going to finish that. Um, but that's how you can find uh, the derivatives of implicitly defined um, functions. And I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.